So part of this circle memory exercise that we set up here is uh, we're gonna ask for some advanced skills on this retrieve. And what we've got is the very first set of dummies that we threw out. Now it's been 10 or 15 minutes since we threw those dummies out. These dogs probably don't remember where they are. So what we're gonna have to do now is handle them onto it. So this is what I would call an advanced exercise because we've got, we've got some distance here we've got to deal with. We're probably 125 yards from those dummies and we're gonna have to stop them and handle them onto it. So I've set up a situation here where the terrain is pretty complex. We've got some undulating hills that they've got to negotiate. They've got to get out there. I've got to stop them. And from the dog's point of view where I'm standing, they're only gonna be able to see from about here up on me. They can't see my whole body. So this is a fairly advanced retrieve here that you're gonna want a finished dog to do. You would not wanna run this with a, with a one-year-old dog, for example. Far too complicated at this point. So we'll try to run this and see how they do. All back. Get on. A lot of factors here. He got sucked into that cover and he wanted to stop there. Get on. He got on the back side of the hill and then he didn't continue on with his cast. He kind of drifted back up into some more cover. So this is a very difficult retrieve. And all we can do here, because we can't see the dog 50% of the time here, he's on the back side of a hill, I can't see him. But part of the relationship here, part of the teamwork is, if he doesn't find right away, my expectation is that he comes back up and asks me a question. He's gonna say, hey boss, I haven't found anything yet. What do you want me to do next? And I've gotta to try to handle him back onto this retrieve. But this is a very difficult one. We'll see what's gonna happen. He found the bird. This is where, this is a situation where if you can get the dog into the area, you've just got to trust him. You've got to let him go. Part of that is the nose development that we've talked about, starting with those young puppies. Dad, good boy. On how to use that nose. You're going to find situations where you can't control your dog because they're out of sight, but you've got to have the confidence in your dog that if you get them in the area, you let them go, and that's what they're for. They're bred to hunt and bred to find these dogs, so don't forget that. If you can get them in the area, Give him a hunt command, let him find it and bring it back. Good boy. Good boy. So our second retrieve we set up in our circle memory is we threw a couple tennis balls out into a piece of cover that I thought looked pretty good. It looked fairly realistic that I may be in a hunting situation someday where I've got a bird that falls in this kind of cover. So we just threw a couple tennis balls out and what we're going to do is ask Wiz to go in stop him and I'm gonna give him, a, give him a hunt command and my expectation is he just gets down and works this particular area, this particular piece of cover and find that tennis ball. This is something that could happen out in the field someday. Hold back. So there I just stopped him, gave him a hunt command. Oh, and he found right away. Good boy, good boy, dead. Now we've got a second one in there. A lot of times dogs don't believe that they found something in one piece of cover. A lot of times they don't believe there's something else in there to find. So just to make sure that my dog understands if I send him that he should go, I'm gonna send the same dog for this second tennis ball and have him work the same piece of cover. Sit down. Whiz. Hold back. There he just stopped and asked a question. He said, hey, I haven't found anything yet, boss. Good lad. He stopped two or three times and asked me a question. He said, hey, is this really what you want me to do? 
And the answer to that was yes, most definitely. I just kept him in there, kept giving him that hunt command, and he found it. The advantage for me now is he believes me. Now I can send him anywhere I want and stop him and ask him to hunt, and he's gonna say, right, this guy has found these birds for me before. If I just do what he asked me to do, I'm gonna find something. So this was good for him and for me. Oh boy, oh boy. So say we've got two birds out. I'm just gonna pitch a dummy over here. I'm gonna send him for that, but let's say we've shot two birds and all of a sudden our buddy in the blind says, hey, we've got one swimming away and this one over here is stone dead. I wanna be able to stop my dog, direct him off of that and go pick up this wounded bird that's swimming away over here. So this is another situation that we all find ourselves in out on a duck hunt. All back. Get on. Get on. So here's a situation. This is what you're looking for in training. Set. I've asked him to recall three times and he hasn't really recalled for me. Set. Set. So I'm going to stop what I'm doing right here and fix this recall issue. And the way I do this is I shorten up the distance. Make sure I've got it right. Good, heal. Now we're going to start this retrieve over. So hopefully that little minute and a half, two minutes that we worked on that recall is going to help us. Hold back. Good, better. Get on. Get on. Get on. Hold back. Get on. Now, if we were actually on a hunt and that was a wounded bird, that took a long time. Chances are that bird has probably swam off a long, long ways. So this is one that I'm gonna say, right, we had some issues. We struggled a little bit here. I'm gonna set up this same retrieve probably the next couple days and make sure that I get it figured out where we get on that bird 100%. We struggled with that one. These, these are the kinds of things that you wanna look for in your training. Where are we weak? Where do we have holes in our training so that you can find them and then set up specific situations and go out and fix them. So again, we had a little bit of trouble with recall there, so we need to work on that. I asked him to just handle dead left. He got sucked up into some cover. He didn't really handle for me that well. So now I know this, and the next couple days we'll come out and run this exact same retrieve until we get it 100%.